All right, we're gonna be taking a look at two portable laptop stands, the Roost stand and the Next stand. Coming up. At the time of creating this video, I've been a digital nomad on the road for about a year and a half, and that means I've been hunching over my laptop for most of that time working. These have been really great to elevate the laptop and kind of give me a better workspace altogether. Sitting up straight helps a ton with back and neck pain, and I've found that I can work for longer periods of time without needing to adjust. However, it is a bit of a pain to carry one of these around with you and a keyboard and a mouse, especially if you're space constrained in your pack already. The Roost started as a Kickstarter campaign a couple years ago, and since then, a couple other imitators have cropped up. So one imitator being the next stand, which is actually quite a bit cheaper. So this is the Roost 2.0, so their updated version. And this next stand came a bit later. It's kind of a bummer that next stand ripped Roost off a little bit and a couple other companies, but it's such a good design that it's been emulated by a bunch of different companies. Since Pack Hacker is primarily focused on travel, we're gonna start with the portability of these two units. Roos claims that their unit weighs 5.5 ounces. However, when we clocked it in on our end, it's 6.05 ounces. Now that's still quite a bit lighter than the next stand, which is 8.2 ounces in total. The difference between those two is very minor, but again, when you're traveling, every ounce counts. The Roost is gonna measure 1.3 by 1.3 by 13 inches, and the next stand is gonna come in a little larger at 1.5 by 1.5 by 14 inches. Again, this may not seem like that big of a difference, but when they're side by side and you're looking at them, the Roost stand feels quite a bit more compact. And they do each come with their own carrying case. So the next stand case is a little bit stretchier. It feels kind of like a sock or a stocking. It's got a stretchier feel. And then the Roost itself has a bit of a more heavy duty, harder case that kind of reminds us of maybe like the outside of a windbreaker. A little bit stronger here with the drawstring and I don't think this is gonna rip. So the winner for portability is gonna be the roof stand. It's smaller, it's lighter, and packs away better and has a better case. Now when you hold both of these in your hand, the Roost feels a lot more solid. It feels like the construction is better on it. The rubber that they use throughout is of higher quality. It's gonna keep that laptop staying sturdy. The next stand feels a little bit looser and the rubber that they do use here is a bit harder. It's almost like a hard plastic. For some reason, next stand loves putting gym weights on theirs, which makes it appear very durable. So for the winner and durability, again, the Roost. Now we will keep the durability updated as we use these longer on our usage timeline at packhacker.com. Both of these laptop stands are designed to hold any size laptop. So anything from your brand new shiny MacBook Pro to maybe an older computer from say 2006, that's gonna be a lot thicker. Both can hold either of these sizes in a couple different ways. So the Roo stand has this pivot grip on the front of it, which is sort of a rubbery moving mechanism that will hold laptops of different thicknesses inside of it and it will kind of lock in. The next stand mechanism has a similar pivot to it. When we have the laptop in the next stand, it doesn't seem to grip as well and is a little less secure and slides around. Now with the next stand, the rubber is going to be a little bit harder. And there's also these weird kind of spacer clips that go on there. So if you have a thinner laptop, you have this spacer clip that you pop in there. And then if you have a thicker one, you take it out. A bit of a concern with this is that if you lose one of these, it's not gonna be as tight of a fit. Once you get this set, it's not like you're gonna be switching it out that often um, unless you have multiple laptops. But when we're traveling, you know, we mainly just have one. So not that big of an issue, but if you do lose it, it can be a bit of a pain. The Roost offers three height adjustments based on how high you want your laptop to be. So if you're tall or maybe in a bit of a higher seat, if not, you use these white clips on the sides to fully adjust the height to where you want it to be. The next stand, however, offers a whopping eight different height adjustments, which is amazing, especially if you're sitting around different coffee shops, you need different configurations based on how high the tables are. This is definitely gonna be versatile. We also wanted to make sure these went up high enough for users. So with both stands, we have a 15 inch MacBook Pro and the top of the screen to the base of the table is gonna measure 20.5 inches on both of these things. So 
At the maximum height, they're exactly the same. So for versatility and height, it's gonna be a tie. The Roost stand will hold different laptop sizes, a bit sturdier and doesn't require that extra clip. It works super well with the pivot grips right out of the box. However, with the next stand, you have many more options to adjust the height based on exactly how you want it. One other thing to note here is that the Roost makes the angle of the laptop a little bit sharper. So it's gonna push more on the back than you'll see with the next stand. So what that's gonna do is that's gonna bring the screen a little bit closer to your face as you're working. The Roost has the advantage there. Next, let's take a look at the price. At the time of posting this review, the Roost stand is gonna come in at $79.95, and the next stand is going to be $29.95 US. Now, that is a huge disparity in price, considering these two things basically do the same thing. So to wrap up, it's no doubt that the Roost stand is of higher quality, but you're gonna pay for it with a price tag. So the Roost stand, definitely wins in that category. However, if you're a little bit more budget conscious and you don't wanna spend as much on a laptop stand, the next stand will probably be good for you. And it's worth noting that you can get three of these by the time you spend for one roost stand. So again, kinda of depends on your use case, which one you wanna go with. Most of the time they'll be in a locked position up on a desk or something of that nature. So the durability maybe doesn't matter quite as much as it would with say a backpack. All right, thanks for taking a look at the laptop stand roost and neck stand comparison video. Be sure to head over to packhacker.com forward slash newsletter and never miss an update. We'll see you in the next one. The roost came first, but the neck stand came next.